What's going on, everybody? What's going on? And today I'm joined by Mile High Six Sports. What's up, Mile High? How you doing, man? How's it going? Yeah, me and Mile High are going to be doing like these kind of videos. Today we're talking about strictly Bryce Callahan. Supposedly, the rumors came out that he is 100% um, recovered from his foot injury. So, Mile High, how do you feel about the whole Bryce Callahan thing? Well, I call him Glass Callahan because he hasn't played a single game as a Denver Bronco. I haven't played since December, but if his foot's fully healed, let's see how he can play. He knows Vic Fangio's scheme, defensive scheme, and see if he can be a top corner on this team. Yeah, de we, desper we desperately need him out on the field because we got we lost Chris Harris Jr., obviously, but we brought in A.J. Boye. So, I mean, Bryce Callahan and A.J. Boye can be two good corners for us, and we drafted Michael Ojamunia too. So we desperately, desperately need um, Bryce Callahan on the field. And honestly, I mean, we signed him to a three-year deal, if I'm not right. Right? Yeah. And, I mean, if he gets hurt this season, I hate to say it, he's gone. I, we have to get rid of him. Yeah, he is gone. But what I like about him, other than Joan James, other injury prone player we signed that year, he took a pay cut after he missed the season. Yeah, like, and another thing you mentioned up that he actually played in Chicago with Vic Vangio, and he knows the Fangio system. So, I mean, when he's healthy, he could be a good cornerback. And he's still very little young. He's like 28 years old. So, I mean, he has some years left in him. But, I mean, that foot injury, was I was pissed because he didn't play the whole season last year, and it, it really made me angry. That I mean, we, I mean, John James. I know we're not talking about, about Jawan James, but he's, he was he was hurt a lot last year too. But man, we need him in the secondary. Obviously, with Cream Jackson, Justin Simmons, we got two good safeties already. So we just need him out of the cornerback. Like I mean, we already got a right, number one corner in AJ Boye, but we need a Bryce Callahan to stand up this year. I mean, if he gets hurt, I mean, we we're gonna have, we might sign Logan Ryan or something because we we're we're lacking depth at the cornerback position for sure. Yeah, depends on when he gets hurt. If he gets hurt like week one or like preseason, oh my God, we gotta sign Logan Ryan or trade for another cornerback. Cause my God, I mean, I mean, we got Michael O, but he's a rookie, and I know we got Devonte Bosby and all that in the cornerback position. But man, we need Bryce. I mean, Bryce is really good. I thought he was a good signing, but I mean, he was good in Chicago under Vic Vangie, like you said. And I, like I said, I want him on the field, and that's, that's the reason why we paid him. And another thing you mentioned was he did take a pay cut. That was pretty good of him because I mean, he missed the whole season last year. So, I, I agree with that. So, yeah, I mean, Bryce Callahan, the thing is, he's a good cornerback when he's on the field. But last year, he was lacking that, and he was definitely not on the field at all. And uh, yeah. He hasn't played since 2018. Yeah, 2018, it's 2020. So, it's been like two years. So, if he does not play a, a single game this year, he's gone. I mean, even if he gets injured this year, I say he's gone. Just because, it, I mean, this is really aggravating. Because we need him in the secondary. And we we paid him some we paid him some money even though he took a pay cut. But I mean we're still paying him to be a number two corner under um AJ Boye now since we lost Chris Harris Jr. Yeah. But yeah, you, you, you got any more comments about um Bryce Kelly on the wrap of the video? No, I just hope he uh, stays healthy, he plays well. Um, you know I won't be calling him Glass anymore because he's fixed Glass. So yeah. Yeah. So, another thing is like people are just, like saying. Like the Mile High Idol said this, they they they'll believe it when they see it. Like he's on the field, cause right now they're saying that he's 100% recovered and everything. But they they said they didn't want to see him on the field. It's same thing with me and you probably, because we want to see him on the field. I mean, just because he says he's 100% don't mean he's. I want to see him on the, actually play some football. But I did see on Instagram that he he was moving his leg good and foot good, so it looks pretty good. So I just wanted him to be on the field with AJ Boye to be a good secondary. So yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys, and. Go subscribe to Mile High 6 Sports, good Broncos YouTuber over there. Also a Blue Jays, Raptors, and Maple Leafs fan. So, yeah, we're, we're like partners on YouTube, kind of best friends, you know. So, yeah, go leave him a sub, go leave him a like, and thanks for watching the video, guys. Mile High, you got any last words? Uh, go Broncos and um, Callahan. Come back stronger than ever, that's it. Yeah, we need him in the field, guys. So, peace out, have a good night, guys, stay safe, and we're out of here, guys. Peace out.